You first want to grab three packages of these five gallon paint stir sticks. I get mine from Home Depot. However, I have been told you could find these at Walmart as well. I just began laying them down right next to each other and I did use a total of eight of these paint sticks. And then I'll be using some one gallon paint stir sticks to hold these together. So I just used a mixture of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue, which is a great substitute for E6000, with a mixture of hot glue, and just place those all on the back side of those paint sticks. And then just make sure that you have two extra one gallon paint stir sticks handy as well. I then am using some brown acrylic paint, just applying that all throughout this sign. And then just using a baby wipe to apply the paint all throughout the sign. What this is doing is it's just going to create a wood stained look without using any of those harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. Don't forget to also paint those two one gallon paint stir sticks with that brown as well. Allow that to completely dry. And then I am going over this with some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And I didn't cover the brown entirely i wanted to make sure that you could still see the brown kind of peeking through just to make it look like it's more of a weathered look and then using that same adhesive glue and hot glue i just placed those one gallon paint stir sticks on the top and the bottom of this sign go ahead and put this sign aside and I grabbed one of these smaller wreath frames from Dollar Tree. They do come in a two pack. And I ended up just cutting up some of this natural burlap into some strips. And then just began hot gluing the burlap around this wreath frame. This is just going to act kind of as a backing for this project. So that way you don't see any of the wire of the wreath frame peeking through. And then I grabbed this package of dried corn husks from Hobby Lobby. And I just began bunching some of these together. I think I did maybe about six or seven strands of the corn husk. And then all I'm doing is just placing it onto the wreath frame and holding it down using a zip tie. And then when I go ahead and do the next bunch, all I do is just kind of overlap it onto that first bunch. Just make sure that you are covering up each of the zip ties as you go around the wreath. So as you're going around the wreath and you're adding the corn husk bundles, just again, make sure that they are overlapping each other just to cover up those zip ties. And then I found that once the wreath was completed, I ended up having to kind of rip apart some of these pieces of the corn husks because they were too thick. And I feel like having them be, be a little bit skinnier just made the wreath look nice and full. So let's go ahead and grab that original sign. I went ahead and just drilled a hole at the top to be able to add this metal hanger that way I could put the wreath on the top there. And then I made this stencil off of my Cricut machine using the font The Skinny and Magnolia Sky. So I just applied the vinyl right down and just peeled off that transfer tape. And then I'm going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant. This is just a gray chalk paint. However, you could totally use acrylic paint for this part. And I'm just using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge to apply the paint over the stencil. Let that dry and go ahead and peel that vinyl right off. And I love how this looks. This came out so adorable. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.